A Marine from MCAS Miramar is now charged with vehicular manslaughter. Good evening, I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jesse Pagan, in for Carlo tonight. John Branda is accused of leading police on a chase in a stolen military truck that ended in a crash and killed a passenger. CBS 8's Brian White shows us what happened inside a Vista courtroom today. 21-year-old John Eugene Brand was arraigned in court today just days after he led police on that fatal chase. He's facing multiple felonies, including evading an officer causing death, vehicular manslaughter, and even kidnapping. He enters not guilty pleas and denials. Brand pleading not guilty as he stood before the judge, visible bruises over his right eye, bearing fidgety at times, shaking his head in disagreement with the charges against him. It's alleged that he committed a, uh, essentially a kidnapping of a member of our community by refusing to let her and her colleague out of the vehicle as he drove that vehicle at very high rates of speed on our roads. It all started Monday when, according to the DA's office, Brand stole a military pickup truck from MCAS Miramar and drove with two women to a Dick's Sporting Goods in Escondido. Police say they stole merchandise from the store, and when officers arrived, the trio took off and a pursuit ensued. The two female passengers begged the defendant to stop. He refused, saying that he was not going to go to jail. He uh, drove in excess of 90 miles per hour. Um, ran through red lights, um, drove on the opposite side of the road, and collided into a pole. The two women were thrown from the vehicle. Brand got out and ran off. Police found him hiding a block away where they arrested him. One of the women, 18-year-old Shivandia Compare Bell, died at the hospital, while the other, Tiara Elizabeth Sams, suffered major injuries but survived. Shivandia's family was in court, understandably emotional. They're devastated. Um, they're emotional. Um, obviously, they're not in the right train of thought or mind to even provide much of a statement at this time. According to a spokesperson at Miramar, Brand is from Kansas and joined the Marine Corps a little more than two years ago. Last month, he was allegedly involved in an attempted carjacking with a knife in the South Bay. He was out on bail and under court order to remain on base at the time of Monday's incident. He is a clear present danger to the public and there are no conditions or any combination of conditions that will ensure the public safety or ensure that the defendant returned to court. The judge denied bail. Brand is facing 18 years and six months in prison if convicted on all charges in this case. He'll be back in court in February. At the Vista Courthouse, Brian White, CBS 8. That was a very interesting and very detailed series of events involving the person you see on your, your screen by the name of John Eugene Brand. And I'm sitting here saying to myself, he did all of that and they still managed to let him out on some kind of a bail pending the carjack, carjacking charge while also being accused of killing the passenger during a police chase in which they said he was driving 90 miles an hour. I mean, y'all heard the details. I mean, it was so, it's so much to unpack with this particular story that I had to go on the law and crime and see if there was anything in here that they left out. And law and crime is pretty decent when it comes to breaking stuff down. I, I, I kind of hold them up there when it comes to heavy when I'm looking at the five facts. But I'm going to read this article coming from Law and Crime that's dated December 22nd, 2023. A Marine in California who was out on bail in a pending carjacking case allegedly led police on a high-speed pursuit in a stolen military truck that ended with a crash that killed his friend and injured a second passenger. So that's just basically telling you right there, he was already out on bail from something separate from what he's back in, you know, uh, custody for. For something completely different. I keep telling y'all, when they allow, when they give them an inch, they take a whole damn mile. And, and now somebody's deceased because of what he did. John Eugene Brand, age 21, faces a slew of charges, including vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence in the death of Shavandia Compare Bell. Appearing with a black guy in court, he pleaded not guilty to the charges on Thursday and is set to appear again on in February. The ordeal began on Monday at about 10.28 p.m. Escondido, Escondido police officers responded to a Dick's Sporting Goods store on reports of a male and two female, female stealing merchandise, according to a news release from the Escondido Police Department. As officers arrived, the suspects entered a pickup truck and drove off. Officers pursued the truck east through Escondido onto Washington Avenue, where the driver tried to make a high-speed turn onto Fig Street but lost control and hit a retaining wall. The two passengers were ejected, and the driver ran away. The women were taken to the hospital, where Compare Bell died, Tierra Elizabeth Sam, 
the other passenger underwent surgery and is expected to survive. Brand was arrested after officers found him hiding a block from the crash scene of officers said, officials said. He was booked into jail. In addition to charges of vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence, he faces charges of kidnapping, evading police with wanton and disregard for safety, evading police causing serious injury or death, evading a police officer, hit and run resulting in death or injury, burglary, and conspiracy, authorities said. That's a mouthful right there of things that this guy is involved with. And the fact that they're saying he could only face 18 years, that's a slap on the wrist compared to what he should have received. Brand is a Lance Corporal in the U.S. Marine Corps stationed at Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, Authority said. The pickup truck he was driving belongs to the U.S. Marine Corps. Of the officers recovered stolen articles from the truck. That should be charges right there because that's technically government property. Compare Bell's mother, Shakila Bell. I'm, I'm trying to say to myself with this name, her name is Shabandia. And I'm not trying to be stereotypical, but I, that sounds like a black woman. And then it has her mother's name, who is Shakila. I'm, I'm willing to bet that Shivania probably was black. Just just guessing. Told MB, San, Diego, San Diego NBC affiliate KNSD that her daughter and Bran had once dated and were friends. She remembered her fondly. Everything about her makes me smile. She told the station she was perfect. She was full of life, always smiling, joking, dancing, clowning off with her siblings. The two female passengers begged the defendant to stop. He refused, saying that he was not going to go to jail, said Deputy District Attorney Helen Kim. According to the news station, the local news, the local CBS affiliate KFMB TV, he drove in excess of 90 miles an hour, ran through red lights, drove on the opposite side of the road and collided into a pole. Brand was on bail on supervised release and was barred from leaving the Marine Corps Air Station Miramar stemming from a pending carjacking charge. Now, keep that in mind. This guy's in the Marine Corps and he has a whole carjacking charge attached to him. Like, really let that sink in. He is a clear and present danger to the public and there are no conditions and no combination of conditions that will ensure the public safety or ensure that the defendant returns to court. Brand from Kansas joined the Marines more than two years ago, a Miramar spokesperson told the outlet. In a statement, Captain Stephanie Liguizaman said they are cooperating with the Escondido police and local law enforcement. An accident occurred last night involving a third Marine aircraft wing government vehicle. We can confirm that Lance Corporal John Brand, a Marine ass assigned to the third Marine aircraft wing, was involved. Corporal Brand is being held by local authorities with an active investigation underway. That is a wild story. It almost plays like a damn GTA storyline, to be quite honest with you. I mean, if you play GTA, you know exactly how all of that goes down. But this guy is clearly a menace to society. He's a menace to everyone around him and caused the death of someone and almost could have caused the death of another person because the other one who's expected to survive, she's very lucky to be expected to survive considering she was ejected from the vehicle too. Keep in mind, they were ejected while he was going 90 miles an hour and I believe when they hit that pole, that's when they flew out of the vehicle. Because I was wondering where the kidnapping charges came from and that's basically them they were trying to get him to stop and let them out but he wasn't going to because he says I'm not going to go to jail well it looks like you are going to go to jail and for several years at that honestly I would get gave him the possibility of being uh, held behind bars way longer than 18 years he would have definitely got more than that in my quite honest opinion imagine that you 21 years old, you're young, your life is just kind of beginning, you're in the Marine Corps, who knows where else you could have went from there, but this is what you decided to do. And apparently, from based on stemming from other crimes that he's committed, this is just where he was headed. He probably thought that if he went into the Marine Corps, his life could get a little bit better, which begs the question, how was his life before he went into the Marine Corps? You know, maybe he was trying to change somehow, some way, but he just couldn't leave that old life behind. If I was them, like they like to do black people, let's dig into his past a little bit. Let's find out what he's been doing before he went into a place where he was supposed to get discipline. But clearly that wasn't the case in this situation right here. It's just unfortunate somebody ended up losing their life behind this man's extreme negligence and utter stupidity. So... If I was the family of the deceased, I would be definitely finding a way to take out a couple of lawsuits against him and ensure that he pays every last one of them. Find a way.